Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one. So today we're going to have another entry into the Women That Men Should Not Date series, right? And for those of you guys that have been rocking with this channel for a while, you know that I have videos uh, about the types of women that men that are trying to be successful should not date, okay? And these include nurses, lawyers, police officers, hairstylists, psych ma majors, um, yeah, and then any woman that's into astrology, guys, come on, don't do it, and single moms, right? But yeah, so I did a video on the woman that was complaining about working 40 hours a week, about working full time, and there's an update where she was, <laughs> it was two years later, and she's working 35 hours a week and still complaining and saying how she had all this potential in life and wanted to do what made her happy and all this artistic crap, right? And guys, this made me think, never, ever, ever date the creative, artistic, chaotic type woman, right? Before I explain what that is, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps to keep this channel going, and I appreciate all you guys' support. So... You might say, AJ, but my girl is creative. She's a you know semi-successful actress or model. That's different than what I'm talking about, right? Because people who are creatives, right, that are successful, there usually needs a lot of discipline, right? So actors got to go on, uh, on tryouts or whatever, uh, or auditions. You know, models need to get their, their portfolio and stuff. Painters need to actually have an actual art show. That takes a lot of work, a lot of structure, and a lot of discipline. So there are those creatives that can actually have enough discipline and structure to make their art or their artistic endeavors into uh, an actual a successful life. Because it's not even really about money. It's just about having a functional life. Guys, that's a small percentage of people and an even smaller percentage of women, Right? What I mean by, by the creative artistic type are the creative artistic chaotic girls that are always head in the clouds, bohemian, all this foolishness. A lot of them are these woke hippie types or they're always like, yeah, the system and capitalism is trash. And when they don't realize that the only reason why that they've been able to kind of force gump their way through life is because they're women. They don't have to face the same bottom lines as men as far as producing, right? These are the types of women that have looks, but they're these free spirits that are all out there just you know, constantly moving in with dudes and all this other stuff, right? So let's go over some reasons why you should not date the creative, artistic, and chaotic types, right? Number one, lack of discipline. These women have no discipline at all, right? They'll get... They usually jump job to job because they don't have the discipline to stay in a, a job or career field, right? These are the ones who, I'm going to be a massage ther therapist, start the school, not like like it, leave. I'm going to be an actress, get the stuff together, stop it, whatever. They're always jumping from thing to thing because they ha have these dreams that they want to pursue. And you guys, if you date them, you will be the one. You have to have discipline because you have to be the, the stable one to supporting them. The whole time. This leads to number two. They live a feelings-based life. So everything's feelings. Now we know that feelings is a woman thing anyways. But it's a lot with these girls. These girls don't feel like, like their life is okay. You can have a perfectly nice place. A perfectly nice life. And they just don't feel happy. They just don't feel good. There's more to life than this. Even though they can't tell you what it is, they just know that it's not what you're bringing at that point. So it's a feelings-based life. Number three, they're always chasing dreams they can't define, right? They, they, they can't define what they want to do. They just know that they don't want to do what most people have to do. So they're always running around like these chickens with their heads cut, cut off, right? And then making you pay for it emotionally, um, monetarily, right? And the moment that they think that they can define what dreams those are, they move on to something else. 
which leads to the next one. They're never happy because there's always something more. There's always something more to them. Oh, we're supposed to be more than, than you know, there's more to life than working or more to life than, you know, living in America. There's more, there's more to life than it. That's what they always think. They're never happy with tangible things or tangible gains. There's always that X factor that they can't define that they think will make them happy. Right? So you have no point of reference in the relationship because to them, there's always something or someone more. This next one kind of sums up the last ones. They give up easily on everything. They give up easily on relationships, degrees, career, paying off debt, uh, agreements to do things. They just give up on everything, right? Oh, I'm just the artistic type and this and that. And I'm just a free spirit. I'm spiritual and crystals and, 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 and all that stuff. And patchouli, you know? The next one, they create chaos and they're used to it. They are in the middle of chaos. They'll just quit a job with no plan, no savings, no nothing. And they're used to it. All of us have probably been with... A woman who does this. And she's like, I quit my my job, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, wait, wait, but don't don't you got to pay rent? Oh, I'll figure it out. And you're what she's going to rely on to figure it out, guys. Don't do it. Do not do it. The next one, you will need to babysit her and make her happy. Guys, that's one of the biggest things about dating these, crea- these creative Artistic chaotic types. You have to be the adult all the time because you are a man. If you don't work, you're homeless. If she doesn't work, she lives with you. Guys, don't date these types. I don't care how fine she is. I don't care. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like these creative types are usually creative in bed too, you know? But guys, don't you fall for it. Don't you fall for it. They're like the sirens from... um, from the from the Iliad or the Odyssey, well, one of those, you know, where they make you jump off the ship and drown. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it, guys. Do not do it. And this last one, you will always have to be the stable one. Always. You can't just quit your job without a plan. You know what I mean? Like, you have to be the one that, that has the car to give her rides, has the, the roof to put over her, her head, the food to put in her stomach. And the money to back all these artistic ventures she wants to do. That's what you'll have to do, guys. And you can't take a break. Mentally, emotionally, monetarily. You're going to have to be the one in the middle of all that foolishness. So, guys, do not do it. Do not do it. And the second part of the second, the last one. You are going to be the one that has to quote, unquote, make her happy. Because her mind is so all all over the place that she doesn't have the awareness to look inward and see she needs to make herself happy. So you're going to constantly be trying to dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge to make her happy. And it's foolishness, guys. Don't do it. Which brings me to this knucklehead right here. This is the girl that I made the video about. If you listen to that first video, listen to the foolishness. She's not happy. She doesn't feel like things are right. She knows that she has has a potential to do artistic things, blah, 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 right? She doesn't see why she has to work. Why can't she be happy? Why can't her whole life be dedicated to being happy? Guys, we don't think this way. We don't, but a lot of women do. And these art- art- artistic chaotic, chaotic types are this times a thousand. So guys, don't do it, right? Do not date these bohemian, hippie, you know, artsy chicks that are always trying to be, you know, jumping from artistic endeavor to artistic endeavor, endeavor, not earning anything, going from being a hairdresser to being a massage therapist to being a painter to being a a graphic designer, designer, all in the same, you know, three or four or five year period period, never having made any money at it. We can't do that, guys. And if you invite this into your life, you are doomed for failure. All right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. I'm out of here.